We already learned a lot about the React basics over the last lectures. Our application still can use some extra styling, I'd say though. For example, these person components would be nice if they would look like cards and therefore be more like closed objects. Right now we can't really see the differences or we can't really see the borders between this component and the other components. So styling components is obviously something super important. And right now there are two ways of styling we can implement. I will show you both. First of all, let's add a person.css file to our person component. And I gave this file the same name as the JavaScript file, just with a different extension. Of course, theoretically, that file name is up to you. Now, one important thing, whichever CSS code I write in here is not scoped to this person.js component. It is global CSS code. So I will define a new CSS class, which I named person with a capital P. Still, I could add this anywhere in my application since it is global, but by using my component name, I can rule out the danger of and accidentally using it somewhere else. So I will simply assign it to my div here, class name, keep in mind, not class, class name, is person, a string person. Now down there in the CSS file, I can now change the styling. Maybe give it a width of 60%, and a margin of auto to center it. Maybe also give it a border of one pixel solid EEE, a light gray, and a box shadow of zero, two pixels, three pixels, and a slightly darker gray. And let's give it a padding of 16 pixels maybe. Finally, let's set text align to center to center all the text. If I now save this CSS file and save the person.js file where I assign it as a class, nothing happens. Do you know why? Well, because we created our CSS class here in the CSS file, but by default, and this is maybe something you didn't know because it's not necessarily intuitive, but by default, no file is included into your project, into the code which gets created by the build workflow. You always have to import files to add them to the game. So we import the person component in our app.js file and we also import the app.css file here. Now it might look strange to import a CSS file into a JavaScript file like this. But thanks to Webpack, which is the build tool, which is in the end used by this React scripts package we're using implicitly here. Thanks to Webpack, we can actually import CSS into JavaScript, though it will not really merge the two files or anything like that. It is just made aware of that CSS file and will handle that differently. We'll basically import it into our HTML file. So in person JS, I will also add an import to dot slash person CSS. And here you need the file extension. You can only omit it for JavaScript files. Now with that, you added this, you made Webpack aware of it. It will now add it to your HTML file. And hence, if you now go back, you see we have this extra styling on our components. You can also see that if you inspect your code, we have the person class here. And if you scroll all the way up to the head section here in the developer tools, you see that there we actually have these style tags, which you can't find in the HTML file in the public folder. There we got no style tags in the head section, just some links to the manifest and so on. So not even to CSS files. The reason for this is that these style tags are injected dynamically by Webpack this is the part I meant with, it manages the imports you add. And this last style tag here should actually hold your person class. And there you can also clearly see it's a normal global CSS class. You also see that automatic prefixing though, which is very convenient because it makes sure that we don't have to do that. We can write the shortest CSS code possible or needed and it will automatically prefix it to work in as many browsers as possible. So this is the style we set up. 
let's maybe fine tune it a bit more by adding a top and bottom margin here. So let's maybe set this to 16 pixels so that we have some separation between our cards. Looks much better. Now we got the persons here. Now let's also style that button and let's style it differently because I mentioned that there are two ways of styling we know right now at least. 